Hello, David here with uh, Chrome Amps and uh, going to show the assembly of an amp box build. Um, some examples that I've done. Um, these are cigar style amps using the Chrome Amp and uh, you can check out um, my build video and it goes over the assembly of the amp board as well as preparing the potentiometers for the volume and the gain control and the audio jack which is also used as a power switch when you plug in and you can refer to that the, the link will be here or somewhere there and basically want to show some of the options for for building an amp this here is one of my latest ones um, the knobs grill, air vent hole, base vent hole, um, and the feet are all 3D printed. Links in the description to uh, my public files. Overview of this is uh, I'm using a power switch on the audio jack so that when you plug in your guitar it automatically powers on. Um, this also has the option for recharging. This 2.1 millimeter DC jack can be set up for direct current right to your board and like I've done on some of my other amps and uh, that will take the place of a battery in the case of this amp I'll go over some of the other power options but this one I'm using a, a three cell lithium polymer battery that's a hobby battery from RC airplanes that I, I fly as well as a three cell charger and this three cell charger is set up on the DC uh, jack so that when I plug in the DC jack it has this three cell charger going on the balance leads right here those are also I get those from Aliexpress Amazon may have these as well um, and of course you can see here the mounted board LED potentiometers. I have added, because I'm using a, a hobby battery, a lithium polymer battery, I've added the voltage to the to the front. And this gives me an indication. I know where I need to recharge it. That's solely for me. It's also um, a power on indicator in this case. And that essentially is one of the amps. There, now you can you can chart you can put in a nine volt battery in these they will work um, but you get an extra punch if you um, go with a 12 volt lead you know, which I, I really like another example here this one is this one currently runs direct current only uh, and I run a 12 volt uh, you can run this on 12 volt one amp and there are 3D printed feet on this as well. These bolts here are mounting of the chrome amp board. And I'll just show that here real quick. Um, right here in the back. One of the things I did different on this is I mounted the LED upside down on the board and extended just a little bit with the wires so that when it's mounted on the risers um, it would poke out a hole in the back. So when I, I plug in and, and I plug in and put the audio jack in, it powers on. And this could have a battery in here. I could um, change out the adapter here and just put one in here, a 12 volt um, or nine volt. But this one I run with a, a DC adapter. And this is a three inch speaker, same grill as common. I did do a little taller risers here to keep that off the grill, off the uh, amp. And I do find that the amps sound a little better with an air vent hole or end tube. It allows the speaker to move freely. Uh, you get a little the different tone um, than the closed off box. This is one of my first amps here. This is a four inch speaker. I think it's an eight ohm, let's see. eight ohm 
six watt, five watt speaker. And that's one of my earlier boards. It's set up with one of my early um, voltmeters. This one adds a hum to the speaker. Um, so I added a, a press switch. So if I ever want to look at the voltage of the battery while it's plugged in, it would read the voltage here. And my audio, audio jacks in the back. And you can just see there's no hinges on this one. I just snap fit. It's really snug and tight. Um, I'll go over some of the important parts and features in um, the build that we're going to go over. This one here is probably one of my second builds. These are these are eight ohm, five watt clear speakers. Cool thing is, is I run an LED strip with that and it glows through the, the speakers as you can see through them and it creates a really cool effect. This also has one of my older volt, voltage meters that I, I bought. It creates a hum um, and it, so I added a, a switch here that when you press it you can read the voltage of the battery. I went some, some old style knobs on here which are really cool. Now onto some of the boxes that we can use. Um, there's several options. There's the typical uh, uh, cigar box. I happen to on some of these at Savers or one of the thrift stores locally, and they're they're actually pretty cool. Some of the wood on them is is really good. They come with this lined already, so it'll make it airtight when it's shut. Um, and on these, you don't really have to do a whole lot other than put your components on there. They're pretty good wood. They're heavy, heavy duty usually, some of them. You can see the interlocking joints in, in the wood. And um, they make a nice guitar amp. This one, the, the hardware is sometimes really cheap. You may want to replace it or make it so it's solid and snaps on and put the feet on it. You can mount them so that they stand tall on the side, however you want, front or back. There's other options. I found this really cool one at, I think it's Cedar, but I'm not sure. And this is a, it's a pretty cool box. Let's see right there. And it will, I'll be making this one of my next builds. And this will probably be the, guitar, the amp face here, knobs on the side. This is a, I'm making a Bluetooth tooth speaker box. But this is, I make the same way um, in the steps and we'll go over some of the details. But this is an example. There are some really good sounding one and a half inch size speakers that would work really good with these guitar amps as well. And that will even take it to a smaller form factor with a pretty good punch and good sound. And I look forward to actually trying one of those. This one's gonna be a Bluetooth speaker. Another cigar box I found. Perfect size for three inch. You could probably even put a four inch in there if you wanted to. This box here, you know, this goes along with most of my other ones that I've I've demoed here, similar to this one here. This is uh, from Michaels, I think. It's just an unfinished hobby box, and it probably costs about five dollars. Now, when some of this wood is it's, it's unfinished, it's pretty smooth, edges are pretty straight and clean, the assembly on them are pretty good. The cool thing is, is you can inspect most of these boxes when you're there at the store instead of buying them online. And the wood is pretty good. The, the, the thickness around the edges is pretty good. Top and bottom is a little thinner, but it's not a plywood. There's actual um, solid wood. And you can tell by some of the grain, they're, they're just going to look really good when they're stained up in the, the back here. So this is the box. I think I got it for $5. And we're going to go through a build, an amp build, using this box. And we'll go from there.